All right, what is going on, dude? This is your boy, Dude Twenty Six here, and welcome to a video on how to record your games and you know rewind time with Nvidia Shadowplay. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am actually recording this and doing this Nvidia Shadowplay video on my uh, Alienware M15 R3 laptop. So you know, shout out to that laptop. And uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so before we do anything, you guys gotta make sure that you can actually install NVIDIA Shadowplay. So of course you're gonna need an NVIDIA graphics card, um, specifically one of these ones right here, you know what I mean? So this is just a system requirements. You got a Windows 7, 8, or 10, at least two gigabytes of RAM, and at least a gigabyte of disk space available. Um, your CPU, you're gonna need one of these CPUs, uh, and then at least one of these graphics cards. So basically anything over like a 600 series cards should be good for sharing and live streaming. Uh, some notebook cards do not work, so you wanna make sure you have at least one of these graphics cards. Um, this is just for the NVIDIA system requirements for GeForce and for uh, Shadowplay. So once you do that, you wanna make sure you actually have GeForce Experience installed. Uh, I will leave a link to this website in the description, so make sure you click download now and just install GeForce Experience. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this should be super easy. And then, once you actually have GeForce Experience installed and ready to go, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you, you're gonna have be on this home tab showing all your games and stuff. And then you have another driver tab right here, this is drivers. Click check for updates and then make sure you know you have the latest NVIDIA GeForce driver installed, uh, the game ready driver, so you can actually run Shadowplay correctly. And then to actually run Shadowplay and record your games and even you know go back in time and record the past up to 20 minutes of gameplay, you're gonna wanna click this one right here. It says open in-game overlay. And then you're gonna be presented with this screen. So this is where you're gonna control all your settings for Shadowplay. Uh, I have instant replay on right now, so let's turn that off real quick. So by default, it should be off. So you can go in here, click it, and then adjust your settings, you know, uh, your instant replay length, you know, your quality, uh, low, medium, high, or even custom. Your resolution, I keep it in game, 60 FPS, um, and then 50 megabits per second is the default bitrate for high, and then just click save, right? And then just simply turn it on. And then now whenever you're in a game, you can record your uh, past 20 minutes of gameplay. And you can do that with a hotkey. Uh, go into your settings right here, and then click keyboard shortcuts. And then you can change all your different keyboard shortcuts, your hotkeys, um, you know, so see right here, Alt Shift F10 actually turn to record gameplay off uh, for instant replay, and then Alt F10 uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, I have it set to Alt F10 to save the last 20 minutes of recorded gameplay, and then it just saves it to a folder, which we'll get to in a bit. And then Alt F9 I actually have to record to toggle menu recording on and off. Again, you can change that to whatever hotkey you like. So that's your uh, your your uh, uh, hotkey, your keyboard shortcuts for Nvidia Shadowplay, and then click this recordings button right here. This is where your um, Recordings will go to so I have it set up to my D drive and I have a folder just called recordings and then all the Nvidia Shadowplay recordings Just go to that uh, folder you can change it But I actually have the instant replay on right now So you can't change it while it's on and there's a bunch of other settings you can change uh, within here You know your HUD layout uh, You can have an FPS counter on at all times, you know your camera notifications and everything You can actually have your camera set up your webcam while you're recording and then you can broadcast from here There's a bunch of options audio settings, you know um, Make sure you have your correct mic here. It can actually split the, um, let me turn uh, this off real quick and I'll show you guys. It can actually split now. Uh, they made an update so that your mic and uh, desktop audio are um, two different tracks now. So uh, you can adjust them later if you're editing a video, which is really nice. And there's a bunch of other settings you can play around with in here, but that's that's the gist of it. And then here is your manual recording. So this is again, instant replay. You can record up to the past 20 minutes of gameplay. And then menu recording can just record, you can record theoretically infinite time, but you can of course control it. Um, it's essentially the same settings, but instead of doing the past 20 minutes, you can control on record, play your game, and then stop the recording. And then you can actually broadcast from here too. So this is just really cool to, you know, show highlights to your friends, um, upload YouTube videos like I'm doing right now, and just, you know, show gameplay off. So yeah. That's just a quick little tutorial on how to set up NVIDIA Shadowplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. All right.